Welcome back, welcome home. It's Justin, your local Bronx real estate agent. And if you're a first time viewer and you wanna keep getting weekly information on the home selling process or home buying advice or our beautiful borough of the Bronx, be sure to slam that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you don't miss anything. With that being said, let's start talking about the top 10 reasons I love our wonderful borough. And I hope you got your own reasons too. First things first, this is a real estate channel. So you know I gotta start with location, location, location. We are in a great position. You need to go down to the city for work. We're right there a few minutes away. You need to go to New Jersey or Connecticut or Westchester or Rockland or wherever you want. Go visit some family. We're conveniently located. You can get there very quickly. Just in terms of that accessibility, that's a beautiful thing that we have in the Bronx to get you where you need to go and then to come back quickly so you can, you can relax once you get back home. Number two, I would say this is more of a feel thing, right? Some of us really like the peace and quiet. The Bronx has that, depending on where you're going. We got some very nice, quiet neighborhoods. You barely hear a peep every Saturday morning. It's a beautiful thing. If you want more of the hustle and bustle, closer to the city life, we got a lot of that too. So it really depends on where you're going in the borough. It can give you those different feelings, different vibes, whatever is better suited for you, the Bronx has it. Number three, this is for my park loving, plant loving people. We are the greenest borough in New York City. It's not close. We got tons of parks where you can go hang out with the family, meet some friends, play some basketball, do whatever you're doing, plenty of park land. In fact, the biggest park in New York City is in the Bronx. Give you a quick second to take a guess. Pelham Bay Park, that's right, you guessed it. Almost 2,770 acres of parkland. The biggest park in New York City by almost 1,000 acres. Uh, shout out to Greenbelt in Staten Island, which I never heard of before I looked this up. But if you want parkland, green space, get outdoors, enjoy the environment, come on over, we got it. Number four affordability. Now you may have seen my Bronx cost of living video. If not, it's popping up above so you can go check that out. I won't spend much time on it here, but we are the most affordable borough in New York City. So if you want that city life with a little bit less than a city price, come to the Bronx. Number five, we talk about all the diversity in New York City. Well, the Bronx has it, baby. We got a ton of diversity in our borough, people from all different parts of the world. It's a beautiful thing when we see different cultures intermingling, people getting to know each other. I love all the different food everyone makes, so I'm extremely happy. But come on, check it out. Uh, I'll drop a link to the census uh, website so you can go check that out on your free time if you're interested in that. But we are an extremely diverse borough, just like we're an extremely diverse city. Number six, it's the food scene. We got plenty of different places you can go. I don't know if you want to hit up City Island. I don't know if you want to hit up Gun Hill Road, off the app, wherever you're going in the borough. We got delicious, delicious options. Mom and pop shops, fine dining, whatever you're looking for, we have it. Plenty of diversity. You can get food from all over the place, which you know is near and dear to my heart. Even on the plant life, we got some great vegan options too. Number seven, there are plenty of other Bronx attractions. Once you're done filling up that belly, filling up your soul, maybe you're going to the Bronx Zoo. Maybe you're checking out Botanical Gardens. Orchard Beach, yes, we have a beach. Uh, there's a Yankee Stadium, I suppose I should mention. As a lifelong Mets fan, I don't like to talk about that, but it is here. Plenty of other things too. Lehman College grad right here, proud of it. We got our Performing Arts Center you can go check out. You can go to Poe Cottage. In a Bay Plaza, the third ever Fordham, we going heavy duty shopping and checking out some malls. There's plenty of things to keep you busy here. This is New York City, we keep you busy. Number eight for me is convenience. We don't close down, which is great for me, right? So convenience stores, you know, 24 seven. My supermarket's three blocks away. They're open 24 seven. I can make my late night oat milk runs when I need to. When I visited my sister in college, she was in Michigan, they closed. Especially on Sunday, wasn't wasn't ready for that. Didn't know that happened. But there's other parts of the the world, I suppose, where they do different things. But here we're pretty much open all the time. Extremely convenient to get what you need to get done when you need to get it done. Number nine, and I all the New Yorkers watching. I'm not trying to pick a fight with us. I'm just saying we have transportation options. I don't want to talk about the MTA. I don't want to get the MTA. I know fare increase service. I know we talk about it, but. Some places don't even have 
opportunity to have a train station. Train system and bus system is pretty much operating 24 ish, seven, a little less right now, but for the most part, it's usually throughout the day. Hey, and if you don't want to do that, you know, we got plenty of other options parkways, highways. You can get the, you get the car service, cabs. We got stuff. That's all I'm saying. We got stuff. Don't want to fight on it. Don't want to say how good certain things are. Just want to say we have it. And number 10, this is especially for my folks already here thinking about purchasing your home. The value is going up, right up. Come get your home now. Think about what it could be worth in five, 10, 15, 30 years down the line from what you bought it for. I'm just saying that value can accumulate for yourself and your family, building that generational wealth. Just a great thing to think about for yourselves for the long term. Now, if you're interested in learning more about the Bronx, Check out these videos I got popping up right here. That'd be good for you. If you think about home buying in general, here you go, here's another one. I don't know if I captured it. Of course, if you know anyone that could benefit from this video, please be sure to share it with them. And lastly, folks, make sure to slam that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can keep getting the real on real estate. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week. Bye. A quick thing on the food See, I would put the best Bronx restaurants up against the best restaurants from X location any day of the week. I'm looking at you, Manhattan, but I'm talking to other places too. We got a delicious food scene. They don't give us credit, but you can come check it out and eat well.